Okay, so this is parcels. It's di divided in uh, six units, um, which is our, our working right there in parcels transportation group. Uh, you know, if you follow up these large corporations, the, um, especially in consulting transportation, it becomes one shop stop where we, we do everything, design, construct, and maintenance, everything. And, and also, we do transportation group, the governments, environmental, and, uh, and then we have two geographical locations, Middle East, Canada, because they are, they are larger. And um, so we have the defense, security, there's not a lot of competition, so that's, that's good. And uh, so price kind of gone up and make more money. Uh, environmental, that's, that's another service that we do. And uh, I think this huge feature with the uh, fracking, and uh, there's going to be environmental remediation and water with water, and that's transportation. Uh, let me emphasize something in transportation. That's in the last few years, what did, did really grow so much is ideas, intelligent transportation systems. And, uh, and I give you a clue what is, what is going on in the market. Um, this is one of the projects I worked there. And uh, this is a people mover. And uh, actually, we designed and built two of them, one here in North Terminal, and the other is the uh, people mover in Miami connecting to the rental car. Um, so let's go, go to the transportation gain. And what is happening, and what happens, and what we are, what we are where we are. Accompl transportation is, is really a complex problem. It's, 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 it's a huge, um, it's unsolved, which is for me is uh, job security. Uh, the government putting a lot of money in there, and uh, we are not fixing, fixing uh, our transportation needs of the people. So they are requiring from, from the consultants more service, try to find a solution for that. And, uh, and it's a winner or loser situation. And I think, I think I'm on the winning team because I'm in the consulting group and, uh, and the people pay taxes, pay tolls. So um, proceed. next time that you go to the toll, you know, I, I would like to say thank you because that's, that's where the money comes to, the, to this game. And why transportation is, a, is the key for the future. Um, we need to understand where we are in uh, we, we live in four dimensions. Uh, three is the space, and four is the time. And we live in colonies. I, uh, part of my background is environmental. And I remember we, we do a, a research study um, about bacteria. Bacteria have been living in this planet for a long time, more than a long time than, than we are doing. And, uh, and the cryptoperidions, it was, it was we, we provide some chlorine in the water, thinking cryptoperidion it was used. Uh, isolated in the water, so with a little measure, we kill all the cryptoperidians. But when when we do research, we found the cryptoperidians live in colonies. So it's like an iceberg. So if you put a little um, layer of chlorine, you only kill the top of the layer, and there's there's a lot. So so you need to put more chlorine to kill all those. So humans, and why we do that? Is is because living in colonies, I provide more efficiency. So humans is the same, it's just the same concept. We live in colonies and communities because it's more productive for us. And, uh, and there's, there's, there's a game chain. Um, also we need to think in the three R, the right people, right place, and the right time. You know, in 1776, this country became independent because it was the right people meeting in the right place at the right time. If they wait 50 years, probably England will be control all the seas and the United States will, will be an independent country. So, so meeting the right people at the right time and the right place is really important. And um, transportation is, is critical for, for societies because, like I say, provide service, provide goods, provide products. And uh, you cannot avoid transportation. Transportation is important for every single day. You stop shut down an airport in Miami, Completely cities shut down. If the hurricane go to Florida, where I'm living, you know, we are pretty much living in medieval ages. So transportation is critical. And, um, and it's a golden mine for the future because our economies are full of debt. And we are, you know, you go to the theater, there's a Martian movie, people are talking about interplanetary societies, go to Mars, NASA, delivery a plan to go to Mars in 2030. But it is costly. Where the money is going to come from? 
that one trillion dollars go to Mars? Where is it going to come from? Oh, my social security paycheck in 20, 30 years, where is it going to come from? We're full of debt. So it's going to come from transportation. We need to do transportation better, more efficient, and cheaper. So it's do more for less. And that links with the smart city concept, which is a lot of people talk. And uh, I'm going to talk about the biology before. You know, the colonies with the bacteria, they teach us a lot about how efficiency is transportation and how move things in the colonies. We are not efficient, and we are not provided the service that we deserve. So that's where we're losing a lot of money. So let's go. Now we are in Silicon Valley. 50 years ago here, it was all farms. It was a beautiful valley. Now there's no more farms. There's all technology, farms. There's all transportation. There's, there's, there's a huge change. And I'm going to use that analogy with the computer industry. Why they change it? Why Silicon Valley became so pricely? Why we can completely a different world for the rest of the world? You know? And it was because the hardware and the software. You know, in the 60s, semiconductors were provided here. In the 70s, the software, Microsoft, that was probably one of the firms to develop. So it was the combination of hardware and software which has made this industry booming. So now in transportation, we can apply the same thing. What is the hardware and what is the software? And the hardware, it would be all we have, the capital costs that we invest, you know, the freeways, the cars, the buses, the trucks, the rail and transit, railroads, the commuter rail, the subways, the APN, autonomous people movers, the PRTs, the aviation airports and airplanes. But the software, what we have been doing in software is the humans. And humans are not accurate. And uh, we can provide the latest, latest technology, GPS or ITS, but it's still humans, the critical factor with this eye, that's the software. And that humans are not really efficient because they cannot manage all the amount of information that is needed to solve the transportation complex problem. That's why humans are not efficient because this huge amount of information and this complex problem is not solved. So now, what we have, we, we're still having the same thing in the hardware. We have the freeways, we have the railroads, we have commuter rails, we can put in more, we can invest more, you can give me more work. That's fantastic. I mean, it's just security for me, but not for the rest of the people. It's not a win-win situation for everybody, and it's not going to be a win-win situation for the future if we wanna, are going to get my social security paycheck, or we want to go to March. Where did the money come from? It needs to be free for this huge market, which is transportation. So right now we have software, we have advanced ITS, ITS is growing, it's improving, it's online. We have application, Google Maps, share mobility, and we have smart cars, the autopilot from Tesla, it's amazing, it goes to the freeways, it's great, it's fantastic. So where is the future? Well, I mean, let's go play the game. No? So the hardware is gonna still there, it's not going to change. It's the same thing. It's the software where it changes. Now you think about the ITS, and now where is, where is it coming? You know, ITS, wanna, I think, it's going to be proactive. It's not reactive anymore. It's going to be linked with the smart city concept. It's going to be smart mobility devices, and it's going to integrate the mobility applications. So we need to be excluded. It's more to be inclusive. We need to integrate all these things, and we need to do information. ITS is the critical. Two minutes, wow, fantastic. So this is where is the, the vision and the concept of ITRANS. It's an intelligent transportation system. And uh, what we try to do in Parsons is, uh, is in integrate transportation system as a whole system, which is, needs to be um, integrated with other platforms, and, um, and we want to use if is coming, automated vehicles, smartphone integrated mobility, and also drums. Because why are we going to use drums? Well, drums is because they provide real-time data, is not invasive. So the moment the people leave the garage, drive a car, if I have a drone on top, I can see that car leaving for that address, going wherever it decides to go. So I can calculate what is the path, 
and for the future decide what is the optimal way. So if I have, it's gonna, it's gonna go up a highway which is completely full of capacity. Highways cannot be bigger. We need to find optimal ways to move this person from point A to point B. So that's, that's what the drone technology is a real data, it's a real time. It could be uh, fully secured because drones are gonna be wired to the ground. So there's no dependable of batteries. So it can run 24 hours. And also can transmit high speed level data. And then it has a double role. You know, the drones also can, can support information in ground, but also in the air. If in the future, one of our delivery products or service or whatever, your coffee, Amazon drums delivery, we can use the air. So we can take trucks, cars out of the ground, go in there. And to me, that's, that's gonna be the smart city concept. That's what is the cities and metro areas, you know, using all the 3D dimensions. That's what come to me, that's the vision in the future. So this is, this is a drone and, and, and that's, that's what we wanna try to develop and we're developing. And, uh, and every drone is, is gonna be supervised an area and then follow up all the um, transportation grounds and how we're gonna optimize. So it's gonna be um, an algorithm, a gathering information and a safety because it provides a new layer, layer of security in, uh, and it's going to finish this one. So this is the last one. So it, it, it's gonna provide safety, integration, planning because we know what the people need, what the people move from one point to point B. So in the future, if we need a, a new line or highway. We need to span a, a highway. We know what is the needed rather than go simulations, simulations or, or studies. That's, that's the way to, we know accuracy. We know where the people go from point I to point B. And, and, and we know what is the best way to optimize those things. And also it's an innovation because it's gonna provide a platform to new service. And, um, okay. and that's, that's, that's pretty much done. That's Thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you.